ready for some ice cream. The first stop on our can't miss ice cream trip tour is Guernsey Dairy, a longtime favorite in the Metro Detroit area. Let's go. It was in 1940 when my grandpa started the business. My grandma and grandpa had 14 kids. All 14 of them had a position in the business at some point. It was my grandpa's philosophy to produce the best, most high quality dairy there is and deliver it to people with the best, most high quality service there is. And that's it. That's really what has kept us here for 80 years. And it all starts with fresh Michigan milk and cream. So we have a relationship with Walnutdale Farms, which is just south of Grand Rapids. They are a fourth generation family owned farm. They do an amazing job. They scored in the 99th percentile of their animal welfare program. So it was very important for us to develop a relationship with the farm and have a single source. Here they have 65 flavors, 48 of which are available in their newly renovated store. However, you can still enjoy your sweet treat the classic way, by the big rocks under the oak tree. I went with Butter Pecan, their award-winning ice cream. This is so good. I could have spent hours sampling their ice cream, but it's time for the next place. Rebecca's in downtown Northville. So Rebecca's been in business for 22 years now, but our ice cream history goes back to 1931 when Clover Dales used to actually run you know, business in our building. This quaint restaurant gives you all those cozy hometown feels and treats everyone like family, including your furry friend. All right, there you go. When the kids come in, the first thing they want to see is the train. They're looking for the train. Uh, we also have the puffer fish. His name is Hootie. They scoop up Guernsey ice cream as well, but they like to add their own spin to it, making it into elaborate sundaes. Our most popular items would be the Sanders Hot Fudge Cream Buff. We also have our brownie sundae. We have a really good homemade banana nut bread with walnuts as well, and we make a sundae out of that. That's the one I wanted to try. Mmm, the flavors all really blend together really well. I love the candied walnuts. They add a nice little crunch to it. And of course, the piece de resistance, the ice cream. Let's walk over to our final stop, Brown Dog Treats, Drinks, and Eats. 2015 is when we started. They kind of want to do a, a better version of ice cream. And so, big foodies, and so what they wanted to do is bring that love to ice cream. So their staple flavors are a bit more complex than just vanilla and chocolate. We don't want to do the traditional, what everybody's used to. Right now we've got a lot of those spring flavors and those kind of summer flavors, lemon ricottas, pistachio stracciatellas. We actually make pretty much everything that goes into our ice cream. For the adults, they like to add booze into the mix as well. You can get a scoop of the ice cream. We do boozy milkshakes as well. We take those sorbets and you can actually make a martini out of them or like a Cosmo out of it. Um, uh, we do mimosas with them. Well, it's after five somewhere, right? It feels bubbly, light, and the fruit flavors are just phenomenal. So these are just a few of the places on the can't miss ice cream chips list, which is on milkmeansmore.org. So go there to check out the full list. Plus, don't forget to add your own. I'm gonna dig in. Of course, you know I love Guernsey. Uh, grew up going over oh, yeah. there. And then uh, Rebecca's uh, with a little train that goes around. I once had one of the best cheeseburgers I've ever had in my life at Rebecca's. I, I kept really? going back for a quick, quick minute trying to replicate the experience. I don't know what was on that burger or how they seasoned it, but it was amazing. It was a good day. Where's All your right, favorite Brown ice cream dog shop? Is Brown Dog is everything, but you know what I love? It's because it's really close to me. Treat Dreams in Detroit. Oh yeah? I know they have one in Ferndale. Oh, I mean, High quality, delicious. That's my favorite in Detroit. And then when I'm in Ann Arbor, Washington, our dairy. So it just depends where I am. Well, if you're out by me, I would, uh, I would. Well, I would have said Farmhouse at Franklin, but that's not there anymore. I, I'm going to go with Stroh's at Maple and Lasser. Okay. Okay. For the full list of uh, local ice cream shops that are serving up Michigan-made ice cream, check out MilkMeansMore.org. And while you're there, don't forget to add your own favorites. I think I'm going to go on there and add my faves. Why not? No, All right. right.